This shit ain't for kids, bruh. What up everyone, it's your boy xmany87 here, bringing you another Marvel Legends video, and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Game Reverse Avengers Wave Abomination build a figure series, Iron Man action figure review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up, like rating on my video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a look at Iron Man's accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at Iron Man. So for accessories, Iron Man comes with two closed fisted hands. Then he has two pair of open repulsor blast hands and along with that he has the repulsor blast effects and you guys know how that works by now you just basically pop the hand off put the new one in that has a hinge so I really like that and just plug in the blast effect right there or you can just plug it underneath his foot so if you want to do a flying effect for him there you go now to take a close look at the head sculpt I gotta say this face looks very sad looking like <laughs> this helmet has a sort of about to cry expression it just looks like a teardrop is about to leak through his helmet and his face has this sort of printed application that you see on MCU face print tech figures I don't see the reason doing those kind of prints on an Iron Man face it just doesn't look beneficial instead of having that nice clean smooth look to his helmet it makes it look too grainy also it looks like his helmet has armored ears like you can see these bulging out on the side and it's not a good look and also an armored mohawk so <laughs> I don't know I'm just not a big fan of this helmet design at all I got some gold paint that overlapped onto the red but uh, the armored ears and the mohawk it just doesn't look good and in between the eyebrows he has this design that's shaped like the letter A so I don't know if that's supposed to you know be a little nod to the Avengers but if so it's just a terrible design if not it's still a bad design choice then you get some gray with that print application in between the cheekbone and the jawline I'm also not a fan of how the neck looks it looks like he has these rings around his neck like that Street Fighter uh, character Dalsum Oh man, it just it doesn't look good. And then you get some gray in the middle right there. Looking at the rest of the body, you have the upper torso here painted in this like marble type of red. And you get the arc reactor right there. And then you get the same print tech again that's trimming around the arc reactor. Again, I just don't see the need for it here. And if it is costly, then that sucks because I would have rather had that spent on paint apps for the back. Like the back part of the torso is completely stripped of paint apps and the main part of the plastic loses its color from the rest of the body. As you can see, the front is more marbleized and this one, uh, not so much. It looks very, very flat. And in the game, he does have some gray colors on the armor here. Then looking at the arms, you get some gray in there. So the arms are very MCU inspired like. And you get some gray colored paint apps that can be seen in separate places throughout the armor. But the one thing that bothers me is the uh, shoulder pads right here. They are definitely going to hinder arm movement. So... Um, and you can cut the plastic right there too if you bend it too much so that's a bummer but yeah I don't have any gripes with the arms I think you know the gold paint the gray it looks very filling and you do get some nice sculpting throughout and then you got the close fisted hands right there and then the lower torso you get some gray colors in the middle and you get gold on the side right there then looking at the rest of the legs his legs look very mcu like from either mark 42 or mark 43 with lots of gold present on the thighs and on the hamstring as well and then you get the red paint that changes tone and i hate that you get this nice darker red color and then boom it just falls down to this very flat boring red color and it's not keeping up with the rest of the body which is why I stopped pursuing a Hall of Armor display for my Marvel Legends and just went SH Figure Arts because uh, the paint is just so inconsistent but you get the nice gray color here above the knee and you get these uh, knee pads lots of lines this guy has lots of lines on him just how Captain America had a lot of straps that drove me crazy all over the place um, but yeah, it's I think it's like overdue right here, especially in the butt area, man. Jesus, they went crazy there. Huh? No need. Then looking below the knees, you got red mainly in the front, and then you got gold calves. And then down to the feet, what are those? Oh my god. Yo, these look like armored shoelaces for real, so <laughs> I don't 
I don't like that at all. Then on the side, it has this edgy kind of look to it, and it almost looks like he has the Nike swoosh on him, like <laughs> they gave my man armored sneakers. But uh, on the bottom, you get the peg holes, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you're looking to do some head swaps, you're not really going to find much success, so I have the Mark 50 here, and we'll put it on this one. And again, that neck is very long, so it's just going to look extra weird. Yeah, that just... Mm. That looks bad. That neck is definitely hurting the design of this figure. Trying to put the Gamer Reverse head on the Mark 50? Yeah, not gonna work either. He has no neck and that just looks freaking hilarious. The Mark 85 armor is definitely not gonna work because that peg is just totally different. I did find my broken Heroic Age Iron Man. Oh man, it's so sad. I gotta buy a new one. So I did want to try that. Oh, that neck is just killing me. Had it been able to fit, I think that would have looked so much better. As you can see, the paint kind of matches. And the RDJ head does not work either. Again, the neck is just too long and it's way too wobbly. So hopefully they'll make an unmasked head one day for the Gamerverse Iron Man. That would look really cool, I think. But I'm actually looking forward more to the Starburst armor. I mean, oh my god, Starboost armor. Wow, did I just say Starburst? <laughs> Target exclusive, I'm looking forward to that more than this one because I always wanted a Star Boost armor. That looks amazing. And I think that figure will definitely be much better than this one. Now, to cover articulation with Gamer vs. Iron Man, his head moves that far up and it moves that far down. It can rotate all around and you do have some slight pivot. And his arm only moves that far up because of that shoulder pad, so definitely hinder it moves down all around you got the shoulder swivel and you got the bicep swivel double jointed elbows and you got wrist swivel and a wrist hinge you got an out crunch that only moves that far forward and that far back you got a waist swivel legs move that far apart it moves up that high and back that far you got the leg that rotates around thigh swivel Double jointed knees and oh no heel to the Gamer vs Iron Man but his ankles move up that far not so much it moves down more than it does so up and then he has this weird ratchet ankle pivot system and I hate it so one click two clicks and three clicks I don't know if you could hear that on camera but yeah I don't like that just because if I'm trying to put him in a certain stance I can't smooth it out with finesse, uh, so this is definitely going to cause trouble balancing because it's not going with the flow that I want, so I just do not like this. I'm not a fan of these ankles whatsoever. Now for some comparisons, here he is next to Mark 50 and Mark 85. Here he is next to Bata Power Pepper Potts and Rescue. Here he is next to the two best Iron Man comic style Legends figures ever made in my opinion. Here he is next to the Gamer vs Legends Spider-Man PS4 Advance suit. Finally here he is with the rest of his wave mates. It's on the shelf time. Here is my Iron Man on my newly put up Gamer vs display shelf. Alright and now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 6 out of 10. The articulation on the ankles and shoulders really annoy me, especially the ankles with those ratchet-like sounding joints. The paint is inconsistent and the touch of printed paint doesn't make it look prettier, adding a grainy look to the armor. Unfortunately, he suffers from what I call the Iron Man movie syndrome where it's the same thing over and over again. Blast hands, blast effects, blast hands, blast effects, yada yada yada. The last Iron Man figure they made lots of fun from another media, non-comic, was the 10 years MCU Iron Man Mark 50 that came in a two-pack with Iron Spider. If this had even a quarter of those new accessories that would have made this Iron Man much better. There are some parts I like in the armor, but the bad outweighs the good, unfortunately. The design is not the greatest in action figure form. It looks so much better when you see it in action from gameplay footage. It just didn't transition well from game to figure in my opinion. I know there will be a lot of skins in the game from what I heard. So maybe they'll make a better looking figure from one of his armors. Because that Target exclusive Star Boost Armor Iron Man is looking so much better right now. To be my main Gamerverse Iron Man figure on my Gamerverse display. 
and maybe my main skin for Iron Man in the game. Overall, the figure is borderline mediocre. On the bright side, I'm happy to add this Iron Man figure to my Gamerverse display that I've started to work on. So now I can get back to you guys. What do you guys think of this Gamerverse Iron Man figure? Do you agree that his armor looks better in game than it does in this figure? I think so. Just wish this figure looked as good as his video game version. That was my review. Please drop a like rating on the video. Comment, we'll chat about it. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Gamer vs. Avengers Wave at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Check out xmanny87.com to view my photo gallery. Hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.